Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa has received a letter of thanks and gratitude from the Minister of Education, Dr. Majid bin Ali Naimi, for his unwavering support for the educational march in the kingdom, which has contributed to providing the required services. The minister stressed that His Majesty the King's support led Bahrain to achieve the best results in international reports, citing the report issued by the Boston Consulting Group on the Sustainable Economic Development Assessment, CEDA 2019, in which the kingdom ranked first in the Arab world and third in North Africa and the Middle East. Dr. Naimi said that the report showed the kingdom making remarkable progress in education, moving from the 64th place in 2008 to the 39th internationally in 2019. The Minister of Education pledged to continue bringing about more achievements for Bahrain so that it maintains its distinguished status at various international events under His Majesty the King's leadership. His Majesty King Hamad sent a reply cable of thanks to the Minister of Education. His Royal Highness the Deputy King Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today received the newly appointed ambassador to the of the United Kingdom to Bahrain, Roderick Drummond at Rafah Palace. The Deputy King welcomed Drummond to Bahrain, highlighting the long-standing strategic ties between Bahrain and the UK and the importance of further advancing bilateral collaboration across all sectors to benefit both countries and their people. The Deputy King and Drummond reviewed a number of regional and international affairs of common interest, including the key role played by the UK and other allies in upholding regional safety and stability. The Deputy King then congratulated Drummond for his appointment and wished him success in his new diplomatic role. For his part, the Ambassador expressed gratitude for the opportunity to meet His Royal Highness the Deputy King and highlighted his support to further strengthening the Bahrain-UK relations. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, also attended the meeting. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa issued a circular for Ashura holiday. The Kingdom's ministries, directorates and public institutions will be closed on Monday, September 9th and Tuesday, September 10th. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Rafah Palace the ambassador designated of or designate of Sri Lanka to Bahrain Pradeep Saram to meet His Royal Highness upon her appointment as ambassador. The Prime Minister welcomed the Sri Lankan ambassador wishing her success in her diplomatic duties for the benefit of strengthening bilateral relations. His Royal Highness expressed pleasure with the growing friendship and cooperation between Bahrain and Sri Lanka and re reaching developed levels of coordination and understanding. He affirmed Bahrain's interest to bolster cooperation with Sri Lanka based on the strong ties between the two friendly countries and common desire to promote constructive cooperation in various fields. His Royal Highness noted that the Bahraini-Sri Lankan relations have many elements that make them eligible for growth and development in light of the two countries' fertile environment for investment and trade that benefit the two friendly people. For her part, the Ambassador hailed His Royal Highness the Prime Minister's keenness to develop bilateral cooperation and recalled His Royal Highness his visit to Sri Lanka and its role in consolidating relations in all sectors. She also expressed hope to further bolster cooperation between her country and the kingdom and as to open new areas of cooperation to achieve common interests. The Minister of Labor and Social Development, Jamil bin Mohammed Ali Hamidan, headed Bahrain's delegation participating in the fifth meeting of the GCC Labor and Social Development Ministers' meeting in Oman. In a statement, the minister affirmed that Bahrain was keen on enhancing joint action within the GCC and bolstering cooperation and the exchange of successful experiences and expertise. He added the GCC countries were keen on achieving sustainable development through concerned efforts that would empower them to face regional and international economic and development challenges with confidence. The meeting discussed plans to boost employment opportunities for Gulf Cooperation Council GCC citizens and support for policies and plans to hire more GCC nationals across six member states. A Shura Council delegation, including the Legislative and Legal Affairs Committee member Dr. Ahmed Salem al arayid participated in the third World Parliamentary Forum on Sustainable Development held in Bali, Indonesia, under the title Combating Inequality Through Social and Financial Inclusion. The delegation affirmed that the Legislative Authority has contributed to achieving the goals of sustainable development through upgrading the national legislative system and supporting developmental programs in the Kingdom. Dr. al asserted that Bahrain made many 
achievements in the field of sustainable development as a result of the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He noted that sustainable uh, development became an integral part of the plans and strategies of the government led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa as they received the support and follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The National Bureau for Revenue, the NBR, held an interactive VAT workshop recapping general and sector-specific VAT concepts, including invoicing and filing. Following a question and answer session, 107 attendees representing 59 entities were given the opportunity to visit the unique interactive demo center that provides innovative learning experiences to ensure effective implementation of VAT. Today's workshop is a continuation of the series of workshops organized by the MBR to provide an inclusive platform for all stakeholders from the public and private sector in order to increase businesses' awareness of VAT returning filing procedures ahead of the deadlines.